that's too short for me. When I said this is a grumpy snake, I ain't kidding. You bike, whoa. Come on, girl. Oh, here are the gators. <laughs> Come on, let's go see if I'm gonna be successful and don't bleed. That, whoa, dang. <laughs> Uh, I need a snake hook. What we got here, the, it got some bad news, got some good news. Good news is I got to pull the clutch with my daughter. Bad news, by the way, my daughter, Juliet. Uh, the bad news is there's some bad eggs. But the good, good news is there should be a bunch of world's first in this clutch. So let's do this. Okay, okay. Oh, man. So this is a big girl, and she's not nice. Ugh. Oh. You got it? Yeah. You notice why I said it's a good thing my daughter's helping me. I'm like done. Okay, so we're gonna see if this will work. Hey. Rolling our dinosaur over. Okay, so check this out. Oh yeah, she's really cool. Whoop, 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 yep, yep. Uh -huh. Get ready guys. She's gonna do the whole thing. <laughs> Take it from here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh. Okay, so she was, she's a motley. We bred her to a motley golden child, Mochino, Sunfire, possibly a platinum. Right now, if you can see her, she's literally eyeballing me right through here. And whoop, <laughs> literally thinking about it. Okay, here we go. So. Okay, so the good news is, even though she wants me, man, this is going to be difficult. At some point, the cameraman may have to help out and hold the box when her head's over here. And uh, boy, she, I can just see she's waiting. She's literally waiting for me to get in the exact position that she thinks she can reach. And... I borrowed Tim's hook, which is too short for me. But what do I know? What do I know? Now, did you notice I took my guard down for one second and she took advantage of that one second. When I said this is a grumpy snake, I ain't kidding. Hey, whoa, I almost got it, guys. I almost boo-booed. Okay, you think I'm playing, right? It looks like I'm dancing, woo -hoo. But she's actually, she's actually positioning herself, hiding her body over there so she can get further than it looks. So, having these is all not that, whoa, dang. <laughs> whoa, told you I felt like I was off my game a little bit. Juliet, why don't you throw yourself in front of it and stop it? <laughs> dang, that was so close. Let me wipe its saliva off my face. Okay, come on, girl. So, Juliet, when I tell you to, Let's see if we can steal this clutch. Whoa. I say steal, but really all it is is that like this clutch is exactly why we take the eggs. They're half bad, half good. Almost 100% chance they'll get maggots, rot, and all the eggs will die. In the wild, guaranteed. Wild animals would come in from everywhere with all that odor and stench, and they would just come eat them all. So I think there's only going to need one box today because there's so many infertile eggs. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. The other side. And of course, because of these are snake eggs, they have to all be the, up the same way. Look at that big girl. There we go. That one's straight, you got that straight yeah. up? Okay. So, hopefully we have enough eggs to get lucky. Ooh, man, there's a lot of infertiles. Way more than we expected. Whoa! Yep. Uh, I need a snake hook. Aisle three. Where, 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 <laughs> she all the snake it's hooks? Here. There we go. Okay. So she got less than, even less than I thought fertile. So there may be 20, 20. I don't know how many eggs are as fertile. I'm gonna find out in a minute. You know, if I was crazy and I like making videos, I'd take risk, but I don't like, I'm, I'm crazy maybe, but I don't wanna take risk. So otherwise I'd show you by, whoa, I'd show you, <laughs> I would show you what I'm talking about. now. You're probably thinking right about now, wow, why is he antagonizing her? So here's the deal. I could just grab her by the neck, yank her out, 
stress her whole life out, or I can let her just argue with me for a few minutes. And when the argument's over, she'll be like, okay, it's cool. And then she probably won't bite me, probably. But the point is I won't be strangling her and fighting with her and making it all crazy. And you know what? We tried that before, it never worked. <laughs> so my point is, so there is a reason why I'm trying to get her to burn her, her angry energy. And I say angry, it's just protective energy. Unfortunately with this snake, it's more than protective energy. It's she's kind of not the nicest snake in the whole world. So she should start be getting to the point where she's gonna think, okay, this ain't working and come with a plan B. Now that being said, she's not ready to, you wanna cover those eggs? Yeah. Matter of fact, let's put them in the incubator and I'm gonna deal with this in one second because at the end of the day, I don't want her to knock her own eggs over because we're trying to save her eggs and her babies. How many we got in there? I didn't even uh, count them. You guys ready? Guess it. Here we go. Seven. 27. 27. What did I say a minute ago? Anyway, we got 27 good. Whoa! I looked at the, as soon as I my eyes shift off of her, see how smart this snake is? The second I shifted my eyes off, she knew that I wasn't ready to jump, almost smoked me. That, I mean, that is incredible. So, that was crazy. You guys just saw one of the closest strikes I've had in a long time. I told you I was old and I told you I was tired. Man, I'm tired. I mean, it's just a long day. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Yeah, uh-huh. Come on. Now I'm gonna play my way. So now, now I'm gonna be the aggressor for a minute to try to get her to think twice about even wanting to bother. So now that my idea is to basically, it basically just get her to where she relaxes a little bit. So, and I, it looks funny, but there's no way I'm gonna get her back in her enclosure and I'm no way I'm gonna grab her by the neck and be aggressive with her because it's just not cool to do. So this is, you know, kind of crazy when you're doing stuff like this, but in real life, if you love what you're doing, you want to be careful. You want to be careful for you. You want to be careful for the animal. She's an opera singer. So you want to do this, you know, I mean, I hatch this from a little baby and I hatch its mom and dad from a little baby. So it just takes a while. Come on, come on, come on, girl, come on. And before you know it, hopefully, hopefully, the problem is, is this snake is so big too. So there's a weight issue. Whoa, there's a weight issue on top of all the rest. So normally I can just grab her. There we go. Now she's starting to, to flee. There's a, there's a fight, or, you know, flee or fight. And hopefully we can get her a little bit on the flee mode. She's still not really going there. Come on, girl. Oh, hear the gators? Okay, go ahead, girl. You can go outside. So hear that? Those are dinosaurs, right? So, I live for stuff like this. Look at that. That's Darth Gator. This is go this is the Gomer. Look at the water vibrate with that intense power. Julia, you raised both these guys from babies, and now they're shaking the whole entire zoo. I know. Isn't that crazy? Dramatic. You <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Let's go see if I'm going to be successful and don't bleed. The problem is when you do something you love, you're willing to take a little bit of risk for it. Sometimes that means losing money. Sometimes that means losing sleep. And hopefully, in this case, it's just... Ooh. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this one's a little grumpy. This one's spirited, like my children. <laughs> to say passionate <laughs> <sighs> I say it's weak but this is a 160 pound snake so whoop this is where it gets a little interesting let me tell you if I didn't have a little bit of a little bit of skill handling big snakes right now this would be a whole nother video whoa oh. now she'll calm right down get back in her enclosure feel like she's in control again. We'll get her settled down. She'll be back to normal. 
and we're going to keep living the dream. That was an easy one. <laughs> <laughs> Have an awesome day.